Donald Trump, the 45th President of the United States, Kim Jong Un, the unelected leader of the Democratic Republic of North Korea. The pair have had a lot to say about one another in the past, and very little of it has been good. But what if the pair actually came to blows? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that loves to ponder all kinds of nonsense for fun. We believe every question is worth answering, because there should never be a censor on curiosity. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and today I'm asking, what if Donald Trump fought Kim Jong Un? Oof. Before we punch into this video, I want to ask you guys who you would put your money on, Trump or Kim Jong Un? Tricky. Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, why don't you leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend that needs some light entertainment today. Also, if you guys want to connect with the team that go into making these life's biggest questions videos, then the links to our social media are in the description box. Donald Trump and Kim Jong Un have had a tempestuous relationship since Trump became president elect in 2016 and realised that part of his forthcoming job was to deal with the rogue nation and the mounting threat of their nuclear pursuits. Over the next 18 or so months, the pair exchanged a war of words, mainly about war, with Trump constantly referring to his big red button. The pair first came eye to eye on June the 11th 2018 in a landmark meeting, and actually things have kind of been okay with them since. The pair shook hands and cooled off, which is pretty great for the world, but we do know that both Kim Jong Un and Trump are temperamental. Things may be rosy now, but what if Kim Jong Un doesn't denuclearize? While the answer isn't, oh, they would meet up and have a televised fight watched by millions, maybe billions across the world, let's pretend that is the answer and that would happen, just cause, you know, lols. I know that good old Logan Paul and KSI have repopularized boxing, especially for the younger generation, but is this really the right sport for this pair? Anyone else think they'd be better off sumo wrestling? Sumo wrestling face off? Oh, good. Me too. Although the thought of the pair wearing little sumo nappies is pretty mentally stressful. I guess it kind of looked like that notorious balloon. To be serious though, if they did have a KSI Logan style fight, what would they wear? Oh, nope. There is that image again, best not to dwell on it. Although the last thing I will say on the topic of apparel is that I bet that Melania will put on an exemplary show in her ringside outfit. Good on you, Flotus. So how do Trump and Kim Jong Un match up in terms of height and weight? Well it's pretty difficult to tell you exactly because neither politician is forthcoming about their stats. However, Trump's results from his first formal medical as president was publicly announced. He is said to be 6 foot 3 and 239 pounds, which may or may not be the case. Nonetheless, if this is true, then his body mass index is just shy of obese. There is no truly credible source listed Kim Jong Un's stats, but one site I found was him at 5 foot 7 and weighing close to 300 pounds, which would very much make him obese. Trump has the height advantage over Kim Jong Un, which is generally very beneficial in all physical fights, although Kim is like a little boulder who could, I don't know, roll Trump. One thing Kim Jong Un does have going for him is his youth. The North Korean leader is just 35 years old, whereas Trump is over double his age at 72 years old. While Trump's physician claimed the president was in good health, that might not be the full picture. Nonetheless, it is clear that Kim Jong Un is absolutely not in good health. He has been photographed walking with the aid of a stick and is reported to suffer from gout, diabetes, heart disease, and hypertension. Honestly, if the pair fought, they both may collapse from the physical strain on their hearts and bodies. Trump is bordering on an elderly man, and Kim Jong Un is a sick man. Not great for a fight. Would they even survive the training? Before we talk about the embarrassing physical feat that would be the actual fight, let's consider the preamble, the fight talk. If Trump's tweets are savage now, imagine how they would be if a fight between the pair was actually scheduled. There isn't enough caps lock in the world to deal with this. Regarding Kim Jong Un, we only really hear from him in Western media reports rather than from first hand person interviews. Would this change if a fight was scheduled. The issue is here that neither speaks the other's language, which somewhat derails the stream of the fight chat. Okay, 
the fight. Where would it even take place? When the pair first met, they met in South Korea, so maybe that would be a good shout. Or maybe they would meet somewhere neutral, like Switzerland, so this doesn't turn into the East versus West metaphor that we all know that it is. Tickets would sell. Half sporting event, half freak show. I can understand the draw. Not only that, let's face it. Regardless of your interest in fighting, we would all tune in to watch the President of the United States and Kim Jong Un face off. It would be one of, if not the biggest live events in history. Perhaps this would be the first ever event to get over a billion views. And of course we know that views mean money. But on that topic, where would the money go? Would the leaders pocket it in true politician style? Or would it be put towards a good cause like global disaster relief or world peace? Maybe that would be the irony. Maybe it would all be a big joke. Maybe the leaders should fight in some kind of charity match and the revenue generated could go a long way to solving a lot of problems. Yeah, 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 Rebecca, but who would even win though? Honestly, at this point this is ridiculous, but psh, Trump. Trump, probably. Honestly, though, the only sports match Trump could confidently beat Kim Jong Un is at golf, and do you know what? I'd tune into that too. I honestly really don't want to see an old man and a chronically sick man punch each other. It's just not my jam. Anyway, time for me to wrap up this video. Who do you guys think would win? Let me know in the comments section down below. As I said, our money is on Trump. Also, why don't you let us know what type of life's biggest questions video you would like us to create next? If you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up and stay subscribed for more big answers. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning.